guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today i'm here to show you how i make these two chili dips so i'm showing you two recipes today yes the green one and the red one so for the green one we're going to need spring onions ginger garlic chili green bell pepper we're going to need onions as well and i'm using two different type of chili green chilies here but you can use one and for the quantity of chili you can reduce it if you want it less hot yeah now for the red one we need some tomatoes we need red bell pepper we need the uh, the sweet pepper the long sweet pepper as well we need some onions garlic and some red chilies Okay guys, so we're going to start by the green chili. So here I have all my ingredients and I'm just going to clean them all, get them ready so that we can blend the whole thing together. Now this chili is useful for everything. You can use it to put it on the table as a chili dip, put it on the table for whoever needs some extra chili in their plate as you are eating and all that. You can use it for marinating your chicken or your meat or your fish whichever it is you can use it to add to your marinade yes so you can use it as a multi-purpose chili now for the heat you if you don't want it extra hot because mine is extra hot you can reduce the quantity of the chili and that is it <laughs> okay so now that i'm done i'm just gonna wash them up and then we're gonna blend them together so here is all clean and ready we're gonna put everything in the blender and we're gonna mix the whole thing now i'm using my blender that just chops my is it can i call it a chopper yes i'm using the option that chops so it's gonna chop them but it's not gonna blend it smooth and this is because that's the texture i'm looking for so if you want yours you can have yours completely smooth then you can blend it smooth but one advice i can give you when you blend it smooth if you need some liquid in there use oil instead of water yeah so here it is this is what it's looking like and this is the texture i was looking for i didn't want it to be smooth and i did not add no water or no liquid whatsoever like i said if you want yours smooth add some oil instead of water because we don't want water otherwise it's going to take longer to cook now you're going to pour everything in your pot and we're going to start seasoning so i'm adding some salt some black pepper and some mustard and the mustard i'm adding like um can i say a tablespoon of mustard yes a tablespoon of mustard you can skip it if you don't like mustard but it makes a difference in this chili dip now we're gonna mix the whole thing together and allow it to cook now you're gonna notice we did not add any liquid in there when we're blending it but because of the sweet pepper and the onions there will be some liquid in there at first you're not going to see the liquid but as it start getting hot and hot you're going to start seeing some liquid here and there's not going to be that much because we didn't add any liquid in there but you see some liquid still it's going to start coming out as it gets hotter so you're going to allow that liquid to come out and then dry out when it comes out and then dries out completely now you're gonna add your maggi cube yes and that's if you want to add maggi i'm using jumbo here it can be maggi any seasoning cube of your choice you're gonna add it now at this point um but if you're not using any maggi and all that then you can skip the maggi you can skip the or you can add uh, add um, a seasoning spice of your choice and when you add your seasoning cube or spice now you're gonna add all the oil because at this point the liquid has dried so we're gonna add the oil and we're gonna mix the whole thing together we're gonna fry it now in the oil so to allow the water to dry it depends mine took like five minutes it depends on the quantity mine took like two three to five minutes sorry three to five minutes then the frying once i added the oil i put the heat on 
high heat yes high heat and i started frying it you need to add uh, enough oil for to allow it to fry don't worry even if there's too much oil once it's ready you can scoop the excess oil out of it yeah but at first you're gonna need that much oil to allow your chili to fry nicely and to taste good and to look good as well yes so i added enough oil and i started frying it i will fry for let's say uh, five minutes or so and after five minutes your chili is ready you can serve it and eat immediately and all that but if you want to keep your chili in a jar and keep it in a fridge and use it every single day and all that then allow it to fry for let's say like 15 minutes or so keep mixing for 15 minutes and this is what it's gonna look like you see that yes after 15 minutes it's gonna look like that it's gonna start detaching you know it's like it's detaching and you see even the color has changed and the texture has changed as well that's to show you that your chili is fried there's no uh, moisture moisture in there at all and it's ready <laughs> So now we are making our red chili dip. So for the red chili dip, these are the ingredients I've told you already, and you can have the list of the ingredients in the description box, as I said earlier. Yes, so I'm gonna clean all the ingredients and wash them and get them ready for blending as well. I am done so I'm just gonna wash them and blend them now in the blender the same as the green chili I'm going to blend them not smooth but I'm gonna blend them with a the texture so I'm gonna chop yeah I'm just gonna chop you can blend it smooth like I said as well you can blend it smooth it's up to you the texture is completely up to you now for the heat as well I'll repeat it again if you don't want it to be extra hot just reduce the quantity of the chili use the same ingredient but just that for the chili use less chili yeah so it's gonna be less hot and this is it this is what it's looking like the same as the green one now we're gonna fry it I'm gonna pour the whole thing in my pot and we're gonna fry it and allow the we're gonna season it and then fry it and allow the uh, moisture to dry out as well and here for the seasoning i'm gonna add some salt i'm gonna add some black pepper and that is it now this is optional it's not a must it's just optional i'm gonna add some um locust bean powder which is iru it's also called iru powder is locust bean powder this powder i'm adding at this moment that you can see there is a mix of locust bean and um dry crayfish dry crayfish or dry smoked prawns is up to you yeah but this is a mix of dry crayfish and locust bean powder so dry crayfish and iru powder this is what i've added here but this is optional i like the taste the iru the locust bean gives to my chili that's why i added it so you don't have to you can just add the crayfish and uh, skip the locust bean is up to you one or the other or both of them is up to you yeah that is it that's all i did we're gonna mix until the water dries out and at this point after five to ten minutes this one took a bit longer for the liquid to dry because there were tomatoes in there and they have a lot of water so yes once the liquid has dried out i'm gonna add a cube and this time it's not gonna be chicken seasoning cube it's gonna be crayfish seasoning cube because yes this is the flavor i'm giving i'm giving to it but you can season it anyhow you like I'm just giving you the idea yeah you don't have to follow exactly what I am doing so once that is done we're gonna add the oil so it's the same process as the green one we're gonna add enough oil to fry the whole thing put the fire on high heat and start keep mixing keep mixing your frying for like 15 10 to 15 minutes 20 minutes until you see that your chili is frying like i said if you want to serve immediately you're not doing too much after five minutes of frying you can serve it but if you want to keep it in a jar and leave it in your fridge and use it every day 
and all that then fry it for 15 to 20 minutes allow the moisture to dry completely you're gonna see it's gonna start detaching you're gonna see the texture is gonna change look at mine now what it's looking like yes you can see that it's detaching you can see it's fried yes at this point it's ready you can keep it in a jar and you can keep it for two weeks even in your fridge use it every single day that's completely fine and it's ready and there you are it's all done my chilies are ready the green one is ready the red one is ready they are looking bright colorful beautiful delicious they taste delicious you know people like me i don't really put chili in my food because of my kids so this helps a lot because you can keep it in the fridge and add it to your food anytime you are eating and you need some spice yes so thank you guys so much for watching my video if you watch at this point please subscribe like comment and share and see you in my next video Bye!